Let's move on to the pièce de résistance. The absolutely funny part of the show and the reason why you're all here. My guy, Ariel Hawani. My driller, right? Ariel flipping Helwani. Yeah, Ariel's on the show, Flagrant, the USC stream, which featured Kamara Usman, um, Alex Volkanovsky, Leon Edwards, and Aljamain Sterling. Pretty good show. I really recommend you check it out. The live stream is awesome. It's over four hours long, flipping banging. But Ariel came in with some absolute bombs. I've got the clips all timestamped here that I'm going to check out. So the first one is Ariel being funnier than most professional stand up comedians. And when I say most, I mean generally Brendan Shaw. He's 100% funnier than Brendan. I don't care what anyone says so this is ariel doing his first real good impression of a stand-up comedian and sounding legitimately funny in my opinion i don't know what you guys think but let's cue up the clip here no that he was like coming on the show and yeah. no I, I was watching the shitty stream there are two people watching i'm like I'm fucking help these guys out the king of mma media help yeah. you out it was embarrassing i was like i can't believe vogue wasted his day to come over here there's literally five people watching it was crazy chat are you gonna take this slander from the second greatest yeah, mma journalist look at of all, all the time? love i'm getting look at all number the two man Ilwani is here i don't see my name anywhere i'm gonna pretend like i do no uh, why is ariel <laughs> there all right <laughs> <laughs> do I you see that genuine absolute unrequented laughs he's getting legit laughs from a professional stand-up next to him from a room full of strangers they're laughing and they're cackling at this mma journalist cracking up coming in with the fire making it a good time making the stream entertaining adding to the vibes and just having a good old time that's what you want to see that's what you bloody want to see not these flipping you know um politic talks and culture talks and all this sort of nonsense these guys do where they try and talk down to you try and educate you on life matters and whatnot and these guys just tell dick tokes on stage and stuff like relax wind your bloody necks in as we say here in the UK wind your neck in you're just a flipping comedian it's not that serious and no one absolutely cares if I don't think I take myself too seriously why are these guys taking themselves too seriously I don't get it another bit here I want to queue up here Ariel Hawani <laughs> asking Alex Volkanovsky about P.F. Chang's in the most <laughs> subtle way ever it was fucking the brilliant like we'll help post things if I have to do it here and there but I like I I try and get back to people. I try, okay. you know. Okay. Uh, how do you feel about P.F. Chang's? Are you a fan or not? <laughs> this guy is... No, P.F. Yeah, Chang's? What? What? This guy what? Here, what? Know what that is? A no. problem, bro. <laughs> 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 Alright, I'm not sure who the guy is next to Volk. I'm assuming that's somebody involved in MMA or UFC or his camp. Maybe it's a trainer. Maybe it's whoever, maybe whoever you are. Shout out to you. Because as soon as he heard P.F. Chang's, look at the smile on that man's face. That man has definitely perused the flipping subreddit. He knows what that P.F. Chang's mean so whoever this guy is big up to you you knew you know we know we, we know you know Volk shouldn't know because he should be training right he should be trying to you know train and become pound for pound you know goat and whatnot and knocking people out in the octagon but you should know and I'm glad you do know I'm glad you know We love you, Brandon. Oh, that's cringe. Just allows him to joke and f hang around. You don't really love him if you're laughing and giggling at the joke also and smashing the flipping pillow cushion and relax. Have you ever done truck stop diaries? What is it? Food truck diaries? Truck stop. Truck stop. Truck stop diaries. It basically is a truck stop, right? Where they stop at. Honestly, that show could be so much improved if they just did a slight change with food truck diaries. Why not go to a food truck park? You know, in LA, they have those places i'm not sure sure what street it is but i remember seeing it on some youtube video there's a certain area in la somewhere where all these food trucks park up and they basically display their wares right different food from different flipping parts of the world whatever it may be different cuisines and they park them in either a parking lot or on the street and that's where you go to eat your food truck stuff someone playing music maybe somebody's selling flipping you know balloons whatever it may be why not do it there around people people might be oh like, my god that's sick that's Volk. that's Aljo. you get a little crowd around you and you basically make them part of the show and you can edit it in a way to make it look i don't know just do something that in situ and then have them eat maybe next to the food truck on the little plastic chairs like you know how the old anthony bourdain no reservation things were where he would always want to eat the food in this locality right he'd go to the flipping shanty little hut thing he'd go to the market and 
need to sit there in the plastic chairs this multi-millionaire famous dude world traveler r.i.p anthony bourdain the flipping goat and he'd do it there and he'd kind of add a level of authenticity and realness to the whole experience why not do that instead of going to a food truck having it park outside a very desolate macabre sterile office block somewhere in a car park next to flipping passing traffic and then take the food into a studio makes no sense kind of devoids the whole point of the food truck why don't just have someone uber it into your flipping studio absolute don't do it you'll have the runs they'll give you some shitty, like, <laughs> I, have done, I have done you have I have done it, yeah. and you had a good time no wonder they're trying to screw I you did it, I did it when I did you as well <laughs> right, I was actually brilliant asking Volk about P.O. Chang's and the guy next to the trainer I think maybe or the friend just absolutely beaming from ear to ear was legitimately something that gave me all the life I needed in the world I swear to god that gave me all the life I needed <laughs> <laughs> the next clip here i want to play is ariel getting at brendan again and you know what's really good about this right it's a setup think of any joke you've heard brendan Shaw do in a stand-up special or any joke he's done for his content is there any joke brendan's ever done that's funnier than this hey, did you vote for kanye well, I felt <laughs> as though his views were very sort of uh, inclusive. Oh, bro, you can storm the Capitol now. This is awesome. Yes, uh, you're news. locked, dude. Yes. But what I wanted to say yeah, was, yeah, yeah. when you do the test, <laughs> yeah, you do yeah. the citizenship test, they, they yeah. ask you questions. What do they ask you? So there's a hundred questions to choose from. You only have to get six out of 10 right, but then you have to write a sentence and then you have to answer sort of uh, English speaking questions. So what they do is they play a movie for you and then you have to recite some of the lines. From the movie? Yeah, you know what movie I got? What? It was fucking tough because <laughs> I couldn't understand a word that they were Django saying. Django Unchained. No. Uh, uh, <laughs> Imagine having to recite some of those. The movie. Uh, yeah, right. others in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a great movie, but the dialogue was very complex. It was hard to. <laughs> uh, what is that one with the guy, the big guy? Uh, He's never seen a movie. Uh, I've never seen a movie. Green Mile. Oh, Gringo Poppy. This, Gringo this, fucking this, Poppy. This. It was hard to. <laughs> Brendan's my guy, Brendan's my friend, bro. Why are you laughing from ear to ear about that joke then if he's your friend, he's your guy? Why are you letting this guy dunk on him like this harshly and this brutally on this show? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> he's so good. Honestly, Eru Hawani is legitimately co CEO, sorry, of PF Chang's. I know I put the poll in the chat, but he is co CFO, co CEO of PF Chang's. Honestly, absolutely incredible performance from him. Absolutely incredible. So hard to understand. Ariel, why do you do this? Why do you cause division? Yeah, why do you cause division? Cause division? Cause division? No, because it was hard to understand what he's they were talking about. He's a menace. He cannot be held down. <laughs> and he's like, popular. why doesn't the UFC like me? We get it. We <laughs> understand watching, right now. Like, this why? Is in English. It's just. <laughs> English. A bowling understand. ball. What am You're I supposed to say? It's not English. Is this what is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of language. Yeah, yeah. It's like but I heard you have a special coming out. <laughs> brilliant absolutely brilliant Eri Hawani absolute masterful performance but I legitimately don't think I've heard a single joke from Brendan that's as good as that flipping you know uh, setup that he kind of did in misdirection maybe the best one he's got legitimately and, and without irony might be that salsa chip cookie that Mexican cookie shit joke he's got I know it's really dumb and doesn't make any sense but that legitimately made me laugh when he said like what is a what's a cookie what's a Mexican cookie what is it like dip it in salsa or something I don't know something like that lines right I thought that or put it sarancha on it whatever it is maybe that was legitimately funny i don't know why that made me laugh maybe because it's so dumb it made me laugh but that was one of the best ones i heard on gringo pappy but it's not as funny as that that was legitimately hilarious big up eri hawani man absolute goat <laughs> i don't care what anyone says well, no, I tried to go through the UFC mm. and then I was going to go through that woman and then, I don't know, we had a, so we had, who, we had a lot of today? great guys. But I love DC and I think you guys have unbelievable chemistry and you. Uh, yeah, you guys, yeah, I told you this and I'll say it again. <laughs> it's the only thing on Zoom regularly that I would watch and feel like you guys were in the room together. That's very mm. nice of you. And it was... We it go was together great. like a plate of brown rice and orange chicken. <laughs> He liked it. I mean, he liked it. I mean, you got you and Brendan just got to fight, yo. You and Brendan just got to fight. That'd be fun. That'd be like yeah, you know what's funny about this, right? They're meant to be professional comedians. You're meant to be, you know, ripping each other and poking the bear and dissing each other and just teasing each other all the time. But it's interesting how when people are dunking on Brendan or a fellow comic that he might like, it turns into you got a fight. Or maybe it's just a Brendan thing. Why is it fighting? Why can't we just trash each other? Because clearly they're not going to be friends. So why can't I just rib the guy and make fun of him? Why 
does it have to always be a fight why does it have to always be violence that's a very interesting way of kind of turning and twisting it right like why can't you just be why can't you just be funny simple as that right why can't you just be funny jokes a little bit of light-hearted banter a little bit of ribbing here and there and you know whatever it may be he can have his get back on his podcast i do my get back here and there and we just keep it moving but why does it have to be a physical altercation like maybe he's just joking but i always find it funny because i think brenda said the same thing right oh if you see me in person you wouldn't say that it's like yeah of course i wouldn't say that you're a flipping trained fighter you know how to kill people with your bare hands clearly no one's gonna say that to your face who would we're not idiots and also we're not we don't have we don't lack in manners you know what i mean of course we're not gonna say it to your face but it's jokes on the internet jokes on the internet shouldn't want to make you get in your flipping purple porsche and drive down to somebody's house and want to clobber them with a hammer that shouldn't be what you want to do if you're a professional comedian you should be able to use your words that's what you should be able to do bloody hell these guys man